Have you ever wondered why sometimes despite all your efforts, certain challenges persist in your life? It's a question that gnaws at us, especially when we've given it our all, and yet, the obstacle remains immovable and unyielding. Now let's pause for a moment and think about the concept of prayer and fasting. For many believers, prayer is seen as a one-on-one -on -one conversation with God, a time to voice our concerns, express our gratitude, and seek His guidance. It's a spiritual lifeline connecting us with our Creator. Fasting, on the other hand, is often viewed as a form of self-denial, a physical act of faith where we abstain from food or certain activities to devote ourselves more fully to spiritual matters. But there's a depth to prayer and fasting that goes beyond these general understandings, a depth that calls us to engage with these practices, not just as routine religious obligations, but as powerful tools for spiritual breakthrough. It's a concept echoed in the words of Jesus in the Gospel of Mark, chapter 9, verse 29, where he tells his disciples that some demons can only be driven out by prayer and fasting. This verse highlights a profound truth that there are certain challenges, demons, that refuse to budge by human efforts alone. They require a spiritual force, a divine intervention, to be effectively overcome. It's in these situations that the power of prayer and fasting becomes particularly evident. When we pray, we open ourselves to God's power. When we fast, we deny our physical desires to amplify our spiritual sensitivity. Together, they form a potent combination that can bring about miraculous breakthroughs. So if you find yourself wrestling with a persistent problem, remember this. Your own efforts are important, but they're not always enough. There are situations where you need more than your own strength and our own understanding. You need the power of God accessed through prayer and fasting. Indeed, some challenges require more than just our efforts. They require divine intervention. Imagine having a friend who you never speak to. How well do you think you'd know them? It's a rhetorical question, but one that brings us to the heart of our discussion today. The necessity of prayer. Consider this. Our relationship with God is much like any other relationship. It thrives on communication, on an exchange of thoughts, feelings, and desires. And prayer is that divine hotline, that spiritual Wi-Fi that connects us directly to God. In the book of Jeremiah, chapter 33, verse 3, God extends an open invitation saying, Call to me and I will answer you and will tell you great and hidden things that you have not known. It's an offer to engage, to interact, to converse, but how often do we take him up on it? You see, without prayer, our spiritual life can become a one-way street. We hear from God through his word, but he never hears from us. It's like tuning into a radio station and never calling in. We may enjoy the music, the sermons, the teachings, but we're missing out on a vital part of the experience, interaction. Prayer is more than just a spiritual discipline. It's our lifeline to God. It's how we express our love, our gratitude, our needs, and yes, even our frustrations and doubts. It's also how we quiet our minds and hearts to listen to what God has to say. It's a dialogue, not a monologue. Without prayer, we run the risk of creating a disconnect, of transforming our dynamic living relationship with God into a static, one-dimensional ritual. We risk becoming like that friend who never speaks, never shares, never truly connects. And remember, prayer doesn't require eloquent words or grand gestures. It simply requires an open heart and a willingness to engage with God on a deeply personal level. Just as a relationship with a friend suffers without communication, so does our relationship with God when we neglect prayer. So let's keep the lines of communication open. Let's embrace the necessity of prayer and experience the richness it brings to our relationship with God. Have you ever considered what happens when we fast? Fasting, an act of willingly abstaining from food or sometimes water, is not merely a physical experience. It's an act of spiritual discipline, a sacrifice that holds profound significance in our journey towards God. Let's delve into the book of Isaiah, specifically chapter 58, verse 6. Here, fasting is described not as a mere ritual, but as a powerful tool to break the chains of injustice, to untie the cords of the yoke, to set the oppressed free. Metaphorically speaking, it's about breaking free from the bonds that hold us back spiritually. When we fast, we are saying to God and ourselves that we are willing to sacrifice our physical comfort to seek a deeper spiritual growth. We are showing our commitment to connect with God on a level that goes beyond our daily routines and rituals. Fasting is like tuning a radio. We adjust the frequency until we find the right station, 
the one that's clear and free of static. Similarly, when we fast, we are tuning our spiritual frequency to God's wavelength, clearing away the static of worldly distractions and aligning ourselves with His divine will. Now, you might be wondering, does this mean that fasting is a magic bullet, that it can instantly solve all our problems? Not quite. Remember, fasting isn't a transaction. It's not about giving up food to get something in return. It's a transformative process, a spiritual discipline that helps us grow, that opens us up to receive God's gifts, and that aligns us more closely with His will. In the grand scheme of things, fasting is an invitation to God, a way of saying, Here I am, Lord, I'm ready to listen, to learn, and to grow. It's a commitment to step outside our comfort zones, to seek spiritual growth and breakthrough. So the next time you decide to fast, remember it's not just about abstaining from food. It's about making space for God in your life. It's about seeking His presence, listening to His voice, and aligning yourself with His will. Fasting is not merely abstaining from food. It's a spiritual discipline that brings us closer to God. So, what happens when we combine prayer and fasting? Let's take a moment to delve into the powerful synergy that exists when these two spiritual disciplines merge. In the book of Acts, specifically chapter 13, verses 2 and 3, we find an illuminating example. The apostles were gathered worshiping and fasting when the Holy Spirit spoke to them. In response, they continued to fast and pray before laying their hands on Barnabas and Saul and sending them off. This account underscores the profound spiritual breakthroughs that can occur when prayer and fasting join forces. Picture prayer and fasting as two hands clasped together. Separately, they are formidable, but together they form a bond that is unbreakable. Prayer is our direct line to God, a channel through which we worship God, cry out to Him, express our deepest desires, confess our sins, and seek His divine guidance. Fasting, on the other hand, is a deliberate act of self-denial, a physical demonstration of our spiritual hunger and thirst for God. But when prayer and fasting are combined, the spiritual dynamic changes altogether. This combination amplifies our prayers, intensifying their reach to the heavens. It's as if our prayers are on a spiritual amplifier, echoing louder and clearer in the spiritual realm, because in fasting we deny the flesh and are more in tune with the Spirit. Fasting enhances our spiritual sensitivity, allowing us to hear God's voice more clearly. It's like tuning our spiritual antennas to the frequency of heaven. It helps us declutter our spiritual environment, removing the static and noise that often hinder our spiritual perception. And as our spiritual sensitivity increases, so does our spiritual strength. Fasting and prayer together create a spiritual resilience that enables us to withstand trials, tribulations, and spiritual attacks. It's like a spiritual workout that strengthens our faith muscles, preparing us for the spiritual battles we face. This powerful synergy of prayer and fasting is not just a religious ritual, but a spiritual strategy designed to equip us for our spiritual journey. It's a divine combination that has been used by countless believers throughout history to achieve powerful spiritual breakthroughs. When we combine prayer and fasting, we create a spiritual force that can overcome the toughest challenges. Are you ready to experience a deeper connection with God through prayer and fasting? In the words of Jesus, as recorded in the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verses 16 to 18, He provides us with practical steps on how to incorporate prayer and fasting into our spiritual routine. Firstly, He encourages us to fast, not for the admiration of others, but in secret, for our Father who sees in secret will reward us openly. So when we fast, let's do it in humility, not announcing it to the world, but quietly setting aside that time between us and God. Next, in our times of prayer and fasting, let's be honest and sincere. God knows our hearts and He values authenticity over pretense. So let's pour out our hearts to Him, sharing our joys, our fears, our doubts, and our hopes. Additionally, Jesus encourages us to not appear gloomy during our fast, but to anoint our head and wash our face. This means that we should maintain a joyful and hopeful spirit, trusting in God's faithfulness even as we deny ourselves. And it's not for anyone to look at us as holy because we are doing this incredibly hard fast. Incorporating prayer and fasting into our routine does not have to be overwhelming. Start small, perhaps with a single day of fasting and prayer. And as you grow in spiritual strength, you might extend this to several days or even a week. Remember, the purpose of fasting is not merely to deny ourselves food or other pleasures, but to set aside distractions and focus more intently on God. And prayer isn't just about asking God for things, but about building a relationship with Him, listening to His voice and aligning our will with His. 
So as you step into this journey of prayer and fasting, take heart. It might feel challenging at first, but the rewards are immense. You'll find yourself growing in spiritual strength, deepening your relationship with God, and experiencing His presence in a more profound way. As we consistently apply prayer and fasting, we will begin to experience a deeper connection with God. Are you yearning for a spiritual breakthrough? This question marks the beginning of an incredible journey. A journey that requires courage and commitment but promises a profound connection with God. This is the journey of prayer and fasting. We've spoken about the power of prayer, the necessity of prayer, the role of fasting, the synergy of prayer and fasting, and how to apply these in your daily life. But why is this so important? It's because these spiritual disciplines help us connect with God on a deeper level, just as the Lord Jesus taught his disciples. Take, for example, the story of Daniel as told in the book of Daniel, chapter 10, verses 2 and 3. Daniel set his mind to understand a vision he'd been given by God. To do this, he fasted for three weeks, abstaining from all pleasant food and seeking God in prayer. At the end of these three weeks, a heavenly visitor appeared with a message from God. Daniel's prayer and fasting had not gone unnoticed. They had prepared his heart to receive divine revelation. Is there something in your life that you're seeking God's guidance on? A challenge you're facing or a decision you need to make? Daniel's story shows us that prayer and fasting can open the door to divine guidance, providing clarity and wisdom in times of uncertainty. But it's not just about seeking answers. Prayer and fasting also create a space for God to work in our lives, freeing us from the stubborn spirits that keep us bound. So if you're yearning for a breakthrough, consider embarking on a journey of prayer and fasting. It's a journey that demands sacrifice, but the rewards are immeasurable. In closing, remember this, your spiritual journey awaits. It's a journey of discovery, of breaking chains, of deepening your relationship with God. So are you ready? It's time to unlock your breakthrough with prayer and fasting. As you step into this journey, know that you are not alone. God is with you every step of the way. Remember, a deeper connection with God awaits. It's time to unlock your breakthrough with prayer and fasting. Until next time, troops, pick up your cross and continue to fight the good fight. And remember, you have Christ on your side.